The powers of old have lost and lie dead. A simple servant has risen to become a general. War breeds war, fields are rampaged, and hearts are in confusion. The world is at war, with no end in sight, and notorious warlords battle to rule the world, including Owari's Nobunaga Oda. Here in Amana, the honor of the former Sakurai clan is now but a dream, and Shuzen Fujimori, a mastermind of chaos who came to power by supplanting his lord, vies to become its ruler. Shuzen's sole desire is for a stronger, more powerful Amana. However, in his drive to accomplish his goals, the people of Amana struggle to survive. For in Amana, war is incessant. In fact, one battle has just ended. But the only souls to cast off the woes of war are those that lie dead, heaped on the ground. To those that wander the battlefield, is hell our world? or the one beyond, no one knows for sure. Actually survive? Who is it? Hey, who are you? Are you okay? Hey, what's wrong? Whoa! Are you alright? Did he just die? What should we do? What do you mean, what should we do? We don't have a choice. We got to get him to the village. Hey, what's up, Internet? Welcome to uh, part one of Way of the Samurai 3. So I went out last night and uh, played the entire the entirety start to finish of this particular ending that I'm going for in this video. Uh, this will be the true ending and if you have played this game or are playing this game uh, this is a uh, 100 point achievement for getting this particular ending out of the 21 different ones. Uh, so you saw in that little cutscene uh, the samurai was uh, that you play as was injured in battle and uh, the villagers helped him out and took him to the village here. Uh, so I'm not going to cut talk over the uh, cutscenes and and key plot points of which one is here now. This isn't a battlefield. You cannot go around spilling blood here. Do you understand what I am saying? I could have left you for dead lying on the battlefield in Kuchihagahara, but I didn't. I brought you here. If you are truly thankful, you shall refrain from fighting or causing trouble in this village. Alright, so this guy that I just spoke to in that little uh, cutscene, I guess it is, um, pretty much says that uh, samurai are not welcome here. They just bring death and destruction and whatnot. Uh, and, and he doesn't want that. So this is uh, Takatane Village. Um, it's where your house is and where a lot of the action uh, or a lot of the, the story points, I guess, for this particular ending and quite a few of the endings take place. Um, this woman right here bo being bothered by these two thugs uh, is kind of the tutorial lady. You can speak to her if you need help with uh, anything in the game. 
So I'm gonna kill these two guys. Just because they're being dicks. Bother the lady. And then speak to her real quick. Um, and uh, as I do in most games, I have a pretty, pretty bad tendency to not block <laughs> very often. Uh, which you can kind of get away with for the most part, but uh, it, it is helpful if you do it, and um, you know, it's something that I continue to work on. Uh, so I accidentally kicked her trying to pick up that stuff. If there's things on the ground and you uh, kick them, you'll automatically pick them up rather than having to bend down and do it. Just makes it a lot easier to do that in combat. And I just went and dropped that sword because I didn't want it and, and just picked it up when I was trying to pick up that money. So she's saying, I can help you with whatever you need. If you tell her that you know her, uh, then she'll not worry about it and leave you alone. So if you pick any of the, sp the speech options that I pick at the particular times that I talk to the people in the particular areas, uh, then you will be able to get the true ending and that 100 point achievement. So I'm coming up on another, uh, another scene here with another key person. And all these things have to happen at the particular time of day that they're happening here. Hey, who are you? Hey, Samurai shouldn't be in this village. My sister gets scared when she sees Samurai. Go away! Get out of here! Hey, you! Don't talk to me! Get out of here! Uh, Koda, stop that! What are you doing? Leave him alone, Kota. But he... he... That's enough. I'm sorry about Kota. But he is right about our village. We don't need a samurai hanging around here. Go, before you bring us danger. Please leave. Please. Alright, so that little scene there was really nothing more than to introduce the, that uh, kid. Um, I'll have to talk to him again later. Uh, but as of right now, it was really just kind of to show that he exists. And so this right here is your house that you live in. Uh, there's a bed to sleep on if you need to advance time uh, to be a different time of day. Right now I'm putting my money in my safe so that it doesn't get stolen. Because uh, they will steal money from you pretty frequently, I've, I've discovered. And as I'm sitting here bumping up the number individually, I uh, realized that there was a button to press to put all the money in there. Yeah, so paying attention for the win. <clears throat> and... Uh, so now I'm going to go to uh, Castle Amana and uh, pull up the world map just to uh, fast travel there rather than walking the whole way. And if you looked at the map, you saw that there was a bunch of exclamation points on certain areas. The exclamation points simply uh, indicate that there is a key event going on there that will progress the story in some way or another. Um, some will get you this ending, others will get you a different ending. Uh, so if you select the map locations at the certain times of day that I do in these videos, then you will progress the story towards the true ending. So this guy pretty much said there's a tournament to recruit for the uh, Fujimori clan, and I'm going to go and compete in said tournament. And here is the scene. I heard Nobunaga wants to take uh, control of the Oyodo and Takatomi. So did I. Oh, and a man of those samurai from the Oga clan. Must be man to make a name for myself. myself. Future, what just doing anything they want and using Sakurai clan's name. Don't choose an ambitious lord. I think he can take down the happiest man in living lands.
have quite an interesting group. Now, we shall begin. Only a true samurai, with no fear of death, may rule the land with Lord Shuzan Fujimari. Let only those that have prepared themselves step forward. You. Very well. Show me everything you've got. And we will see. I will judge you with my own eyes. Now, fight! So now this is the little tournament. Essentially, my goal is to uh, to be the, the last man standing, which is not very difficult. These are all pretty low-level enemies, and they're really easy kills. Uh, the sword that I'm using, I've already ranked up, I think, about ten times, and uh, had it uh, modified by the blacksmith to have more damage. Uh, so these guys go down pretty quick. Um, and on your swords, as you use them, uh, you will learn new moves. Uh, there's not really a particular way that you have to do this. It just sort of happens automatically as the sword levels up. And then I go back to pick up this uh, item for uh, making new weapons and pick up a, another sword while, while it's down there. Um, so if you notice the little icons above people's heads, that's the person that you're currently fighting right there. I clutched the controller and it brought up the map. Uh, but this is it for part one. Uh, watch the little scene and stay tuned for part two. That's some skill you've got. Fujimori clan could use someone like you. Once our lord takes over Japan, you shall be successful in whatever you desire. Work hard. <laughs>